fact families to 12. Related facts make fact families. This is the fact family for 4, 6, and 10. 4 plus 6 equals 10. 6 plus 4 equals 10. 10 minus 4 equals 6. And 10 minus 6 equals 4. They're all related. And they make a family. A fact family has two addition sentences and two subtraction sentences. The sum of the addition sentence will be the minuend of the subtraction sentence. So if we look at this fact family, the sum of the addition sentence is 10, and that's the minuend of the subtraction sentence. See? So if you remember, the 1 and the 3 in this addition sentence are the add-ins, and the answer is the sum. And in this subtraction sentence, that's the minuend, that's the subtrahend, and the 3 is the difference, it's the answer. In fact families, the sum is the minuend. See? The sum of the addition sentence is the minuend of the subtraction sentence. And we can complete each fact family. We have 3, 8, and 11. We have two addition equations addition sentences, and two subtraction equations, which are subtraction sentences. 3 plus 8 equals 11. 8 plus 3 equals 11. And now, the sum of the addition sentence is the minuend of the subtraction sentence. 11 minus 8 equals 3, and 11 minus 3 equals 8. Here's another fact family. We have 4, 5, and 9. We have two addition sentences and two subtraction sentences. 4 plus 5 equals 9. 5 plus 4 equals 9. And the sum 9 becomes the minuen for the subtraction sentence. 9 minus 5 equals 4, or 9 minus 4 equals 5. Here's another fact family. We have 7, 5, and 12. We have two addition sentences and two subtraction sentences. 7 plus 5 equals 12. 5 plus 7 equals 12. And the sum 12 becomes the minuend. 12 minus 5 equals 7. And 12 minus 7 equals 5. Here we have another fact family. 2, 8, and 10. We have two addition sentences and two subtraction sentences. 2 plus 8 equals 10. 8 plus 2 equals 10. See how they traded places? And 10 minus 8 equals 2, and 10 minus 2 equals 8. And the sum in the addition sentence is the minuend in the subtraction one. Now when we add, we've talked about this before, the commutative property of addition says we can add numbers in any order, and we're going to get the same sum. We can add 2 plus 5, and it'll equal 7, and 5 plus 2 equals 7 doesn't matter what order we add them, we'll still get a 7. And this doesn't work for subtraction. Subtraction isn't commutative. Do you see its name? Commutative property of addition? So subtraction can only go one way. We have 7 minus 2, that equals 5, but 2 minus 7 doesn't equal 5. That doesn't work. So if you notice in our fact families, if you look at the subtraction sentences, the subtrahend and the difference changed places, and this stayed the same, the minuend stayed the same in the front. And in the addition ones, the add-ins traded places, and the sums stayed the same. See that? So the two front ones can't trade places in subtraction, only in addition. Okay? So those are fact families to 12, and I hope this was helpful, and I hope you're having a great day. We're going to continue on, and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye.